Hi, this is Jordan Ian with today's Email Marketing Minute. Today we're going to speak about one of my favorite retailers and catalogers, the Bose Company. If you travel on airplanes or you spend any time in very noisy environments, you love those Bose Quiet Comfort headsets. And Bose does an awful lot of email. If you get on their list, you're going to get quite a bit of mail from them. So this is a recent email that I received from them. And when you get it in your inbox, it's a pretty nice looking piece. This is around the holiday times. And they've made a really nice use of an image here that appears above the fold. It talks about change how you think about home audio. And it's promoting their acoustic wave music system. Now the challenge that they have with their messaging is several fold. Uh, as an image, this looks really nice. The challenge is when you receive this with images off. And we did a survey and we found about 50% of the recipients who are going to receive your email have images turned off as the default, which means when they're turned off, they're not going to get those images. So they're going to see something that looks like this. This is what actually this email appears like if I were to receive it in a Gmail account. Now, if we sort of zoom in on this, what you see is actually a large amount of the space that's coming in there doesn't communicate a message at all. These three areas here that we have are just completely blank and in the image on ad there was actually text that was there that really communicated something so we're missing a key part of that message and as we you know continue down in this message you'll see there's really not much being put into those blank spots where images appear and all of that can include text behind the images so you can actually deliver a message in that area as well. They also make extensive use of gray text in this ad. And a lot of times gray text doesn't come across very effectively. Um, you save gray text for the, the legal copy you want to put down the bottom of the page uh, that you don't necessarily want to have somebody read. Now they do use some very good techniques in here. If you're not a subscriber, one of the things you should always include in your email newsletter is a place for people to go to sign up if they don't already subscribe and give them a chance to, to come on as a subscriber. So they do some very good things and some things that they could improve on. So in quick summary, design is a critical component of this for both images on and images off. When you design a message, you want to design it so it looks good with the images on. But if somebody doesn't have them on, they should be able to get your entire communication without those images being displayed. The second thing, stay away from gray type, unless it's the small mouse point type at the bottom of the page that your legal department requires. You really want your reader to see the message that you're trying to put in there. And one of the things Bose did make very good use of that I didn't point out uh, was the calls to action. They appeared multiple times on that page. So use bold calls to action and put them in multiple places throughout the message. And finally, link to your subscribe form. Let people in your newsletter uh, that may be getting it passed along find out how they can also join. So that's today's email marketing minute. We're subscribermail.com. You can reach us at Jordan Ian or at Subscribermail on Twitter. Thanks.